What's to in guys? Now I have a question for you today. When your life is over, will you be on the right side of history? This has been the trial of the century. It has been a whirlwind to say the least and there have been some absolutely savage moments <coughs> in this trial. So let's dive right in and see the proof. The proof is in the pudding. And I would say the proof is in the turd. Text her rears, uh, tears, beers, shears, sapphires, leers, jeers, queers, <laughs> hears, fakirs, mouseketeers, ears. I can go all night, DJ Maxi Pad, <laughs> the old vintage motherfucker you went for. Wait, is this poetry? Is this a slam poetry night? Did I um, read that right? Sorry, I was signing off as a dumbass. <laughs> and then below that, you write, don't call me again and do not expect anything from me. He's I wouldn't be expecting anything after that. After that gracious exit right there. And first of all, I think that we are all skimming past that brilliant masterpiece. DJ MaxiPad, excuse me, I'm sorry, but I think the only future that Amber Heard has after this is possibly an endorsement deal with a MaxiPad company. You see that? I do see that. Did I read that right? <laughs> you really did. Let's go to the next page, please. <laughs> you really did. Eat salad with your equine AD bovine yerps. <laughs> and thanks for the support. Have a great shoot. You sicken me. Leave me fucking be, Officer Squarehead. <laughs> your display of guilt and matronliness as a lesbian camp counselor was plenty. Your future is on display. Best of luck. I am having sensory overload. Most of my exes or haters have just called me a slut, a bitch, but this guy, he's got range. And I, yeah. Oh my god. I'm sorry, let me do it again. Best if luck. <laughs> Best Thank you for the correction. Best if luck. You will. And thanks for the tunes. Bye, JD. Don't call again. I will begin to feel embarrassed for you. Go away, coach. Ha. Huh. Done. Did I read that right? No. <laughs> no. Go away, coach. Done. Ha. Huh. Done. Thank you. Otherwise, did I read that right? Um, sure. You agree that referring to Amber as a lesbian camp counselor is a highly offensive reference to make, correct? Um... What's the date here? 2013. It wasn't um, as, if it as makes a uh, considered as egregious. Um, there was a bit more. There was a bit more um, understanding about terms. Amber also called herself a les lesbian camp counselor many times. So um, I don't think I'm the first to say that. You'd agree that there's nothing appropriate about referring to her, your girlfriend or fiance is that in those disparaging terms in that text, correct? Um, Objection compound. They're grasping for logic in a completely illogical situation that happened like over eight years ago at this point. And like these text messages, I'm sure he's just like, I don't even fucking remember them. <laughs> Imagine having to dissect your old, incoherent, blackout, drunk, angry text messages that like didn't make sense then and probably don't make sense now. Milani coming through with the receipts, Elle Woods legally blonde style, let's go. <laughs> Honestly, throughout the whole case, Amber Heard, she's a liar. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure Milani's stocks are going through the roof right now. I'm about to go to CVS or Walgreens right now and pick up some Milani bronzer, even though I haven't bought any since high school. Oh god! Oh no! 
Yeah, too soon. Too soon. Okay, next one. That cocaine, that those white lines, those are cocaine. That's cocaine, right? I would assume. Yeah, and that's that's your cocaine that you kept in that box that says property of JD with the skull and crossbones, isn't it? Well, beautiful composition of the photograph would suggest that, certainly. Yeah. You don't dispute <laughs> that. I, I don't see me in it. Yeah. But you don't dispute that the, you carried cocaine in that box that said property of JD. That was a special box that you carried cocaine in, wasn't it? The box was a gift from someone. I can't say that I carried cocaine in it, no. You, you, you can't it, say that you carried cocaine in that box? No, no but it looks like it would fit some cocaine. <laughs> You carried cocaine in there, cocaine, didn't you? No. I would, in my experience, normally uh, given in plastic bags when you put it in a box like that, um, chances are very good you'll leave a trail of a, a long line of cocaine behind you okay. walking down the street. <laughs> Get out of here, Dewey. What are y'all doing in here? It's called cocaine. And you don't want no part of this shit. Cocaine? What's it do? It turns all your bad feelings into good feelings. It's a nightmare. <laughs> oh my god. You, you, you poured yourself a, a, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint? <laughs> yeah. I poured myself a large glass of wine. <laughs> necessary. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the terminology! Math already is so confusing to me since I failed it three times in high school. So I really, truly, genuinely am so curious the difference between a small pint, a regular pint, and a mega pint. <sighs> you were drinking pretty heavily. Were you there? <laughs> in a very ugly situation with Amber. So Mr. Deputy, you know, with respect, you know, trying to respect the court's time and the jury's time, that was not my question. My question was simply, you, you would agree, you would agree, you would agree that on... <laughs> Let's pull up exhibit 500. 500, that's exhibit 500. I'd like to see who I lied to. <laughs> Sometimes drink whiskey in the mornings too, right? Isn't happy hour anytime? <laughs> Johnny Depp has the patience of a saint in this courtroom. Right after you cut your finger off, that you, or right after, I, I won't give you anything to argue with me yet. Right after you sustain an injury to your finger, that you, right after you sustain an injury to your finger. <laughs> no, 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 Johnny Depp. Bless you. Bless you for dealing with all of this bullshit that you're dealing with, okay? And sobriety at the same time, because I don't think I could. Good for you. Now, you're a lot bigger than Amber, correct? Physically? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Um, Ooh, is she? The standard. Uh, is she being fat shamed right now in court? I think we're gonna end this beautiful, beautiful video with some gorgeous, gorgeous artwork of Amber Heard, or as I like to say, Amber Turd taking a shit on their wonderful bed. I think that we all really need to take a moment right now to pay our respects at the people who truly had to suffer in that situation and have a moment of silence for the people who had to clean that shit. Yes, the housekeepers in that household. A moment of silence, please, to the housekeepers the former housekeepers of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Yes, please let's pay our respects because they truly deserve it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this compilation, this proof of Johnny Depp's innocence in court and some of his most savage and hilarious moments honestly although it is enjoyable it is very very painful and sad to see and hopefully he will have his justice 
in court very, very soon. I think he will, and I'm excited for that day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video. I upload every single day, 2 p.m. Eastern time, so I better see you guys here tomorrow. Check out my socials, check out my spicy page, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.